Hi friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. So today we are gonna make personalized coffee mugs. Now you can of course use any sublimation blank coffee mug that there is. I myself buy the Cricut coffee mugs because the price point on them is not bad at all. And I, I really like the way they feel. They're heavy and they sublimate so nicely. But you can get any um, coffee mugs that you like. I will link the ones that I use. And of course you can use an oven. I use the Cricut mug press. I really like it for these and I use my sublimation printer. It is the Epson 2760 that we turned into a sublimation printer. I do have a video on that if you are looking to turn a printer into a sublimation printer. So there's a couple different Epsons that you can use. I got the 2760. It's what they happen to have at the time, but I'm actually glad that I got it because I like being able to scan items into it. All right. So on the Cricut mugs, let me first show you. So this is the first one that I did. I did this um, quite some time ago when I first got my mug press and this just so you know, this has been in the dishwasher hundreds of times. As you can imagine, this is my favorite mug. I use this every single day and I want you to see like it hasn't faded. Like I'm not gentle with this. I don't hand wash it. I just stick it in the dishwasher and it has not faded. So super nice. Now this is the smaller size. And on today's project, I'm going to do the larger size. So my grandkids, their grandfather, so my ex-husband, is here visiting from Hawaii. And I'm really glad because, you know, he hasn't gotten to see the kids that much with COVID and everything and him living so far away. And Maddie is just... Maddie is in love and he is having such a good time with his grandpa and I'm not gonna say that it doesn't make me a little bit jealous but at the end of the day we all know I'm his gaga so I can share him a little bit and Michael so Michael's still a little bit young but um I know that he's enjoying visiting with him also Maddie's just at like that perfect age right now Okay, so when I'm doing these, I have Cricut Access, so I like to use it since I have it, and I love these little mug setups that they do. So in Cricut Access, you have the ability to just make this little tab for whatever, you, you know, whatever size mug that you need. And so I'm going to use this. However, if you don't have Cricut Access, you know, basically just make, just measure your mug, make a rectangle that size, and fill it in the same way, okay? So, so just because you don't have Cricut Access doesn't mean you can't do it this way. So I'm going to do the large straight edge, which is what I have, and I'm going to customize. So this allows me to know exactly where I can pictures for my mug but the nice thing is too this also shows me where my center is on my mug and then also the sides of each of my mug so that's definitely helpful now um, but again you can also do this with a with just putting a rectangle and it's not a big deal at all. So now I'm going to bring in my pictures that I want. So what I did earlier, I went to Cricut and I did upload and I uploaded from my camera roll the pictures that I wanted to be able to put on this mug. So I have them. I'm going to do this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. This one and this one. 
Now you can put as many pictures as you want on these mugs. I got it so that I could see everything. Now, I'm gonna start with, you know, I'm just gonna put my pictures on and then I'll go in and I'll size them and stuff to where I want these. So now I have them all in place how I want them and I don't see any blue so I know that I've got everything covered. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull up layers and I'm gonna hit this piece out here and I'm gonna hit the eye and it's gonna hide it. So now I want to attach all of this I'm going to attach it. So now this is one piece. This is all so now this is all one piece. I have this little extra piece here which I'm just going to, you know, I'll just trim that off and make it even. So now I'm going to make it. Actually before I print I want to mirror it and I'm also going to turn my bleed off and I want to mirror it because I'm going to be ironing it on and that way everything comes up, you know, the right way. All right, so now I can print. And I'll be using my Epson. Just gonna clean our products with alcohol prior to prior to putting anything on them. All right. So here's my piece. I don't need to put it on my Cricut and cut it. Of course, I could, but I'm not going to. And now I'm just gonna cut across. And that gets rid of that little extra piece I didn't want. My Cricut mug press just told me it was ready. All right, so now here is my piece and My, so I lined it up so I know that this is my front and I'm just going to line this up evenly. Make sure you can see. So now that I have this lined up exactly the way I want it, I'm going to tape it. So you can use masking tape, especially if it's not going to be touching your product. However, you got to be careful. Masking tape has the potential to leave you with some residue that has been um, heated on. Now, this is heat tape. It's specially made to be able to withstand the heat and not leave residue on your on your product. So it is definitely the best thing to use. And it's always kind of a pain to take off, to tear off the roll. So I would suggest, you know, just having it ready ahead of time. Right, so my pictures are on. I feel happy with them. So now we're gonna put it in the mug press. So we have our Cricut mug press and this just goes right in the press like this. And then we push this down and it will tell us when it's ready. It says that it's done. So now we can flip this open and we'll pull this out. So the handle is cool and it's easy to pull out. The handle is cool, but the rest of this is really, really hot. 
So I suggest letting it cool. I'm going to just go ahead and take it off, though. And you can see the heat tape doesn't leave any kind of residue. And here is our mug. How cute is that? So these are great. I mean, you could put anything on them. I feel like this would be, you know, a product that would really sell. You know, people love having, um, I just burnt myself. People love having mugs with, you know, their kids on them and stuff. And especially like, you know, for like sports teams and stuff like that. Like you could have one that had my daughter as a cheerleader on it that I had forever. However, it eventually like faded off. But these, these are just really, really great. And, you know, of course I covered the entire mug. You could do one just in the center if you wanted, like however you want to set it up. But anyways, I hope that you like this. These are great gifts for yourself, for other people, great projects to sell, and they turn out so fabulous. All right, listen, I hope you guys have a blessed and beautiful day, friends. I'll see you later. Bye.